stretch position, you just open up the hip into that horizontal abduction and then coming back to center. The body doesn't want to move too much, although if you are relatively flexible, down to tap that knee by bringing the knee forwards and repeating. Sliding and rotating. Now don't lose any of the elements which you brought in. That rotation, that sense of lift through the chest, not letting the pelvis drop. Two more to go. Keeping that left thigh nice and vertical. So make sure you've got good grip there. Take a breath in, breathe out to float the knees up, and then push forwards into a plank position. We then bring the knees back to their floating, lifted start, and then we lower back down. So things to bear in mind here, if you go into your plank and you significantly overshoot, and you've got this angle in the arms, you probably want to adjust the start position, you might want those hands a little bit further forwards. So Head to toe. And then from there, inhale, prepare. Exhale, up. Inhale, down. Now as you're doing your lift and lower, make sure you're thinking of the same things you did in your first set. That you're getting that dissociation of movement. The leg is moving slightly backwards. Now we've got all these other elements to maintain as we're performing this lift and lower. The rib cage height. So move with the opposite leg. Keep your center as you switch. So we're getting some nice close packed activation of our abdominals here, and even with this leg pull. You're going to feel those muscles kicking in quite nicely. So let's do another 10 seconds, making sure that you're going to levels. Now for the exercise we're aiming for, we're going to come up into our adductor plank, bottom leg off, and then try and do 10 hip flexions and extensions. Now when we do this, we've got to get this smooth flow One, two, and continue. One, two. So there's our scissors modified level five. And we are thinking about all the usual things we'd think of with a scissors movement. Okay, the most of the work is getting done with this back leg. Driving up into your side bend and then pivoting around, going up underneath and then back up to the top and then coming down. Let's do one more repetition. That control and intent and adapt it as you feel you need to. Hopefully it feels like a wonderful stretch. Good, let's do two more of these bridge variations. Lean, lean down, then bring your elbows down onto the floor and going down in that fashion is a, is a nice little go between foot will tend to sting back and you find that if the foot goes back you suddenly get all this uh, extra range of movement you think you've got but you're not actually stretching the right thing so if you can keep that foot 